Well, Tom Brady at least saw in that last shift that his forward, the third man, was staying high. That was Leap. All through this tournament, Rennie's been able to get his team to really buy into the forward checking system. Two men in on top of the puck. But that third man, stay back. Support your blue line. Allow your defenseman to be able to pinch. So far this game, though, Canada have done a pretty good job of the third man back, but at the same time, the first two forwards in deep haven't gotten back into the defensive zone quickly enough. The Russians are too quick right now. Back to Andrew Ference, pedaling up on the backhand. Flipped it wide. Bouk trying to come out. Gets it around there from Mayer. Back to Bouk. Right in front of the net, and Ward had backed off to higher in the slot. There was no one up there. Long pass up ahead, and... Well, you talk about trying to stretch the Canadian defense back as you did earlier, Gary. I mean, a good example there. Stash Levy was way up by the blue line. Here comes Mayer. Tiptoeing in over the line. Lost possession of that puck. It comes up around the boards. Pauk had to look out. His man had already come over. Canada was in danger of having too many men on. Ward rattling up there. Got a piece of Kokorev. Here's Campbell. Plays it across, and again, a messy change. Fata and Ward getting their signals crossed. Here's Kachuk, and led Calder a little bit too much. Well, at the same time on the line change, has been bad luck, too. The puck's handed up right there in front of the Canadian bench on both occasions. Yeah, true enough. You can't predict that. This is Campbell. Van Ryan with it. Four seconds to go in the period. Here's Fata, and time runs out. Fans were yelling, shoot, shoot. They knew the time had run out. So Canada will head into the third period in this gold medal game, trailing Russia by a score of 2-1. to one. It should be a great finish to this one. Canadian team looking for a couple of volunteers to step forward in this third period and make things happen. Canada down two to one as we get the third period of this gold medal game underway. Russia on top as Donica clears it to the Canadian line. Icing call on the Russians. Second period summary brought to you by Cheerios, proud sponsor of Team Canada. Gagne with a big goal for Canada on the power play to tie it up, but Bamoshnik with a beautiful shot. Must have had all, all of four square centimeters to put the puck through, and he did. Well, we talked about adversity for Canada. I'm sure that Tom Rennie looked at the positives. They lost one nothing in the first period. They tied the second period. They've got to empty the tank in this third. Nothing to save. Off the draw, Kachuk. Almost muscled his way through there. Vishnevsky, long shot, rocketed that one wide. Schmidtke gets it up around behind the net. Shubarov up after it, number 19 for the Russians, works the puck loose. Picked up by Stewart, though. Empty the tank, that's a great way to put it. There is no more driving in this tournament after this game. No sense having any fuel left. Kachuk leaping up there, trying to get it out to Fata. Afina Jenov back out across center. Lost a glove, but he's got the puck, gets a shot. Luongo kicked that away. On the way back is Van Ryan, gathering speed in over the blue line. Van Ryan moving in there. That's knocked away. Tried to squeeze it in the side. Kachuk was dumped back behind the play. Meanwhile, Shavitki in over the blue line. Screenshot skipped wide. He's up after his own rebound. Puck rolls loose, and Shiavkin was coming up after it, and it was swept up over the glass and out of play. On the scoreboard after two, it is two to one. Russia leading Canada between the boards after two. Brought to you by Molson Canadian. Shots on goal 22-9. Scoring chances 8-2. Well, this Russian team, after two periods of play, have been impressive. Their forwards have been strong on the puck. They're great skaters. At the same time, their defense 
who average about one inch, well, they're one inch smaller than the Canadian defense, but about 20 pounds lighter. But that hasn't been a difference in this game. Their defense have been extremely mobile. They have been moving that puck so quickly. See, now things like this just happening to Canada tonight, that's why I think it's nerves. That, that wasn't happening in the game against Sweden. The passes were crisp. Guys seemed to know what other guys were doing. And when you take that long coming out of your own end zone, too, it kind of takes the emotion away and the intensity, the adrenaline comes down. It takes it out of the crowd, too. Sivakin up and over the blue line. Trying to get outside on Allen. Backhand shot was stopped by Luongo. Balmoshnik muscles his way free. Centers it in front. Arkipov point blank was stopped by Luongo. Great work by Balmoshnik to get it out there to Arkipov. Luongo's doing everything that you ever ask of a goaltender. Make the big saves. Keep your team in the game. He's been doing that for them. And they will need to support him with some offense. Here's Donica. Mayor gave him a bump. Out across center. The Bruskin in over the line. Dropped it back. Kirilenko fired it wide of the net. The Bruskin after it. And Canada had the puck surrounded and everybody scrambled away from it. Looked like a... Monty Python skit there for a moment. Only no one on the Canadian bench is laughing. Here's Bob McKenzie. Well, guys, Canadian fans here are hoping and praying that Canada can come back. Hoping and praying, literally, between periods, a fan came down to the bench area and passed out these cards to the Canadian contingent. Tom Rennie and his assistant coaches took one each, put them in their breast pocket. They figure, hey, what the heck? At this point in time, we'll try anything. I don't know if divine intervention will work or not, but Canada could certainly use a little something right now. Uh, if there's a man upstairs, he's probably got bigger things on his mind, but why not try anything? Well, if he's got an extra moment, even if he could get their feet moving, would help. Stewart works it out. Here's Leoshenko. Whirling his way back in over the line. Varanikin gets it through. Leoshenko with stretched out, poked at that puck. Regeer cross ice to McDonnell and jumped away from him. Here's Stewart. In for Canada. Betts is with him, but the play disintegrating just inside the blue line. And Vizhnevsky was dumped back behind the play. An icing call on Russia. 16.30 to go in the third period. Canada down by one to going for goal. I've been watching Tom Rennie, the concern in his face. There's a lack of confidence right now on this Canadian team. Here's a good example, folks. Watch these three guys. Stop it right there if you can. Look at how much room they've given up right here. Tom Rennie wants them up at the blue line. There was no reason on that play for them to back in the way they did on Luongo. So are they doing that because they're intimidated by the Russian speed or puck I think a little bit at the same time, their own feet haven't been moving as well tonight. They may have a little lack of confidence in that department. Maslenikov gets it up along the boards. The second effort gets it up ahead. Shubarov up into the corner. Shibitki was up there lurking. Afinajenov up there too. All dangerous players for the Russians, but then they hang right back. Nursing that one goal lead. But here comes Kachuk trying to bite into it. Fire the shot. That one was rising sharply, but was picked off by Volkov. Daniel Kachuk, who has been great offensively for Team Canada, carried the puck into the zone. He didn't just dump and chase. He read the play and he reacted. Now, watch it right here, folks. See? Stop it right there if you can. You can see that he had nobody to go to, though. Here's Kachuk over here. Look at all the open ice. Somebody's got to get in there. Or otherwise, Kachuk has no opportunity to score from that angle. Well, a low percentage shot from the wing. Well, you know what I noticed on that shot? Here's Morrow with it, trying to work towards the front. Volkov stands really deep in his net. Puck cleared in by Van Ryan. Skims up around the boards and gets away from Lieb. Campbell worked it back in, but Morrow had to come out to get the play on side. Valmosnik is plastered along the boards. The 
puck was tagged.